a general case analysis. Break it apart, it'll make more sense. General case. So a general case, and you're analyzing the general cases. This is about teaching, this is about training, this is about teaching, right? Um, so we're gonna select examples. So, so teaching examples, and we're gonna select enough of those. Exemplars, training sufficient exemplars. It's another term you might want to recognize here. So general case analysis is the process by which you go through to decide which things you want to teach right, um, that represent the full range of stimulus variations that you're going to run into in a certain context, right, in the real world. Um, Stoplights. So when you're teaching a kid to drive, there's a couple of different ways stoplights are lined up, right? They're either this way or they're this way. Red, the, the red light is always the one on top or the one, which I can't remember, it's the left side, sorry. Um, so the idea being that once you teach enough of those, that skill will generalize across the world except in places that pay no attention to their stoplights. It doesn't generalize to there, but you'll just that's just shaping and you need to experience that on your own and those natural contingencies. So I hope you get it. It's really just about analyzing all the different exemplars that you need to do to teach a, a skill effectively.